If I distilled my personal story down into two words, it would definitely be faith and family. I grew up in a very loving, tight-knit home. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, great homemaker, made all of our meals. Um, in fact, I don't really remember a time when we ate out a lot as a child. Of course, I didn't know at the time. That was because we really didn't have the money. My father was a full-time um, pastor of a small rural church. In fact, he still is at that same church over 32 years later. And as you can see, our family has grown quite a bit since 1985. Mom and dad have five grandkids and dad's starting to transition into retirement. But before I get ahead of myself in this story, I want to tell a little bit more about my background and my personal journey. I told you that faith and, faith and family were those two words that described my personal story the best, and I want to share why. As a child, my home life was pretty amazing. I had parents who allowed me to talk to them about any and everything, and I did. Nothing was off limits. In fact, I still do. My older brother and I were very close in age. We grew up in a time before the era of the iPad, and so we were outside together day in and day out playing, using our imagination. We're still very close to this day. My parents welcomed a little surprise later in life. They had another little boy, and the three of us grew up together going to church, um, being involved in church, and whenever we weren't in church, we were still that family that studied the Bible together and prayed together. And Granted, my parents weren't perfect. They didn't do everything right, but they were and still are the real deal. They still seek the Lord always and did growing up for me in my life. As I continued to grow, so did my faith. In middle school, I discovered I had a knack for fine arts, and I was uh, pretty good at painting and delved deeply into art classes in the, in the field of art. Um, also during that time, I really sensed the Lord was drawing me closer to Him and, and drawing me to see that He wanted me in full-time service of some capacity beyond um, college. And I had no idea what that looked like, but fortunately, um, I had an amazing art teacher in high school who introduced me to the concept of graphic designing. Um, and she helped me to understand that this field could feel that artistic side of me and I could still make a living pursuing that. So I pursued a degree in advertising and graphic designing right out of high school. During those few years, I met the love of my life, who I'm still married to today, 17 years later. Um, I took a position shortly after getting married, working for an international Christian radio broadcasting um, organization in North Carolina. I was their graphic designer. I learned a lot about myself in those almost five years, um, about myself, about others, and about where I wanted to go with pursuing my calling. The Lord opened the door for me in July of 2005 at a place called the Baptist State Convention of North Carolina. Um, I was able to come on as their senior graphic designer. I learned a lot those first few years working there, and the Lord began to show me that He wanted me to go further with uh, advancing the gospel through graphic design. Um, and there was this world called communications, and it was a bigger picture, a bigger way of sharing the story of God. And, and, and so I began to pursue my degree at Liberty, and, um, and this is my last class I'm finishing up. And, and ultimately, the position of the communications team leader at the convention was where God drew me to serve Him full time. While this personal journey has been anything but easy, as you know, a career in communications can be pretty stressful from day to day, there are two things that really make it all worthwhile. And those two things are truly my faith and truly my family.